guys. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with my next guest. Uh, his name is Rusos Demis, <laughs> and he's the founder of Demi Farm in Karen. Karibu sana to the show. And uh, we're here to talk about snail farming. Yes, <laughs> I did say snail farming. Human beings have actually been consuming snails for thousands of years. And uh, they're allegedly very high in protein and iron and water while being low in fat. And snail consumption is popular in various countries around the world. Here in Kenya, we also have uh, Rusos, who's now a, a snail farmer. And he's here to tell us a bit more about about it um karibu sana to the show so i'm already feeling like really tingly <laughs> just because i've never liked snails i don't even like looking at them um how did you even get into snail farming uh, okay the story behind snail farming is very interesting generally farming is something i'm very passionate about okay. and so the first venture i started was mushroom farming okay and uh, i've been thinking of a way we can uh, have urban kind of farming yeah. so these things that are done indoors so i started with snail with the uh, mushrooms so i started mushroom kenya mm -hmm. and the snail is one of the pests in the mushroom farm so oh, they it? eat the mushrooms okay so one day i got some snails in the farm and you know they were eating those mushrooms and i'm like ah let me do some research about them and the the main intention was how to control them right. how am i going to get rid of them yeah. but then i, I realized wait this thing, some people are really farming it. <laughs> and that is how, now, you know, the interest came into play. I started doing uh, a lot of research. Uh, unfortunately, there is no more data about snails in Kenya. Okay. Actually, the only information that was there was from Rosemary Odinga. Mm. And so since that time, I started doing a lot of research and trying to network until I got a Nigerian guy and a Ugandan guy who were doing the snails. And then I decided to go to Uganda, okay. learn about it. And then I came back to now start it. Amazing. Yeah. So your problem actually gave birth to a whole new business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you still doing the mushroom farming? Yes, the mushroom farming we're still doing. But right now your, your heart is, is seems quite set on building the snail farming business. I, yeah, really. Actually, even snail is just part of a, a demi farm is a farm that we want people to be their producers of food. Mm. Uh, because you realize there are so many challenges that come with lifestyle, yeah. especially food. Yeah. So if everybody can be able to produce for themselves, then we can get rid of some challenges like cancer and okay. you know things like that. Okay. So Demi Farm is just trying to influence urban people to get into the production of uh, agricultural produce too. Okay. So we are focusing on things that can be done well in an urban setup. You know, like snails, you can just do it in your house. They are very silent and all these things. <laughs> Mushrooms, you can do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so uh, we're also trying to focus on other things like insect farming, okay. uh, snails and, and mushrooms. All right. Yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Yeah. Um, so tell me now, um, what then are the snails being farmed for? W what is the purpose of snail farming okay. after you've collected them <laughs> what do you do with them <laughs> yeah so snails are majorly farmed for two reasons uh, one is food the yeah. snail meat yeah. uh, that those who know snail meat know what I am talking about. Are there about. people in Kenya who eat snail meat? Yes, even me. I'm, I'm now one of them. <laughs> now? Yes. How was it the first time you tried snail though? Uh, it was funny. I didn't know it was really snails that I was eating. Oh. But then when I learned, I was like, Where oh. was that? Uh, this was in Uganda. Okay. Yeah. And I know also like a lot of like, I think even some French, I know in Ghana it's quite Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear this. You know, as, as you have my Indichoma, I have to snail choma. Yeah, it's true. But I have to write it's like a snail roasting on a charcoal grill on the side of the road. It is true. So even I think in some parts of Europe, um, and also China, I believe they also do eat snails. Yeah, it is true. It yeah. is true. In Africa, it's majorly in the West African part, right. majorly Nigeria, 
and Ghana. Okay. But in Europe, uh, it's also a common thing like, you know, Italy, France, yeah. these people really eat it a lot. Chinese, yeah. you also don't forget them because <laughs> they, eat <everything>. <laughs> they like eat like literally <laughs> everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so just, I want you to talk us through, because now you're saying that this is also for consumption, right? Apparently it's very rich in protein and iron, as I was saying. Yes. So there is some sort of <laughs> dietary benefit, but really, Aki, I think Ntakwa are too vegetarian. How many of you would try snail meat? I'd love to hear from you. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. Would you eat snails? <laughs> Even though you're hearing there's all this protein in them. But what was the texture like? Is it slimy? No, 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 no. It's not really slimy when you eat the, 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 the snail meat because, you know, that slime is, is removed fast. Okay, okay. So when you eat it, it's like mm. actual nyama. It's, there's no <laughs> slime. <laughs> Yeah. And you don't eat the whole thing. There's a way now it's supposed yeah, there's, to be Yeah, there's a way there's a way it is prepared. Actually the shell is removed, yeah. but there's a recipe that the shell is included. It's called uh, escargots. Yes, escargots. So escargots, I don't know. It's being said that it feels nice to try to remove to that go, meat outside of the shell. That's French, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And um so yeah, when you're out here trying to be bougie, <laughs> When you were saying that you want to go to French restaurants, <laughs> you're just picking items from the menu now, Juni Nini. Be careful because you might be eating Gova snails. Um, but anyway, cheers to new experiences. Um, very interesting. So for you, it's do you eat the head or that's removed? The, the head of the snail. The the head is not removed. It's oh, part of that uh, the meat. <sighs> you know what the <laughs> image in my head is right now? Is this the way the snail goes like this yeah. with the tentacles? That's all I'm seeing in my head <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Where yeah. I can't, I don't know. I'm not that brave just yet. But okay. <laughs> okay. And what's the second reason for snail farming? Oh, the second reason is majorly for beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, snail, the slime or the the serum is really good for restoring the skin. So the cosmetic industry have now decided to use it as one of the ingredients they use to make cosmetics. Yeah. So that is also a major reason why some people do snail farming. They, it's not just for, uh, for consumption, but just for that uh, slime extraction. Yeah. I hear that's quite popular. In fact, a lot of people say that it's helped them get rid of acne. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Can I show some images on the ROI, please? Oh, God, yeah, I'm sure. struggling. <laughs> Let me see. I need, to show, I need to show our audience members this because they might think we're joking, but it's very popular. Yeah, it's Even true. in, in uh, I, I know a lot of you have heard of K-beauty, Korean beauty. Yeah. Um, huge, huge trend. But uh, do we have, are we ready? Not yet. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. Oh, Lord. Mm, yeah, so that is snail therapy. Yeah. It's an actual thing. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. We're trying to get this loaded for guys t to see this. But um, so is this profitable as I get this loaded? Is this a profitable business? Oh, yeah. It is It is really very profitable. Mm -hmm. The good thing with snail farming is uh, it has very low barrier to entry. Okay. And then uh, it, it, it requires less space and even less capital mm. compared to other other forms of farming okay so at the end of it you find you get more return uh, more roi yeah than uh, in the investment so the roi as at now stands at 50 percent okay yeah here here are those images like <laughs> who oh my goodness i, I can't but anyway, apparently this sliminess of the snails does something to the skin. I, I maybe yeah. tightening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this one. Like it's literally, it's it's so huge. It's literally like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I need to change the page. But um, and it sounds like for this business, you don't even need a lot of space. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Is, it, is it farmed on land or in like certain? Contraptions, buckets. Uh, so there, there are there are three there are three ways you can farm it. You can do it indoor. We we call it intensive system. Yeah. So that is inside a structure or inside the house. Or you can do it outside. Just in the house. Yes, just in the house. If you have a spare bedroom, you can just put them there, and that's it. Okay. Or if you have space, you can do it outside. Like okay. your farm, you you fence it well so that they don't go away. Yeah. So that is called extensive system. Okay. So it doesn't really require much space. Right. Within a square meter, you can do 100 uh, hatchings. 
Okay. Yeah, but okay. The, the the big ones around seven to ten. So if you have a house, you maximize on the space. You okay. can you can do the shelves. Wow. Oh, I think we. <laughs> wow, amazing! Thank you for coming onto the <laughs> show and sharing your work with us. Uh, please do give us your handles if people want to follow you or even find out some more information. Uh, okay, thanks. So the organization is called Demi Farm. Uh, so our website is demifarm.com. Our Facebook page is Demi Farm still. Mm -hmm. uh, our Twitter is at Demi Farm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And maybe our mobile number sure. is uh, 0768. 494-209. Okay. Yeah. And we're Great. based in Karen. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on to the show. You've definitely taught us something new today. I wonder how many of you will be out there trying this out. Uh, but uh, you can let me know on double two triple nine. With that said, we need to take a break as we get ready for our final segment this hour. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce. <laughs>